DJ Pro for the Mac is loaded with so many amazing features. The only problem is some of them may be a little difficult to find. So in this video, I'm going to show you all my favorite features that may be hard to find. And also my full beginner course for this app for the Mac has just been released. So check out the link down below. All right. So here we are in the DJ Pro app for the Mac. The first thing that I would recommend is to open up the toolbar over here. That's where a lot of these hidden features are going to be. So we're going to open Open that and then I think this is how you get the most features at one time in the software. Now the first thing I want to show you is going to involve these things called the jog wheels. See right here we have a jog wheel it gives us some information really cool works really well we could tell the BPM where we are in the track stuff like that but what if you don't like that jog wheel you could press this drop down menu over here and you could switch it over to vinyl and when we switch it over to vinyl we unlock a hidden feature over here, which is great for doing large to small BPM transitions. Listen to this. Don't ever lose sight. You can make it too. Just keep up the fight. And we get a really cool slowdown noise. Really good for doing transitions. Good for doing DJ tricks. And we only get it if we have these vinyl jog wheels selected. Also, you may not have ever tried this, but if you press this little arm over here, you could scrub through the track. So look, we're at the end of the track. If we go towards the outside of the disc, we'll be at the beginning. It works just like, like a real record deck. Super cool. And you get it if you're in vinyl mode. So you could choose from jog, from jog wheels or emulated vinyl. But what if you're used to softwares that aren't as jog, jog wheel heavy, you don't like the jog wheel, you don't want to get distracted, boom, press none and the jog wheel disappears and everything else gets a little bit bigger and you could see some more features. Which brings me to the next thing is our waveforms. We got no waveforms right now over here. Yes, we can open this waveform section, get waveforms down there, but now we could switch it. We got horizontal waveforms. A lot of softwares use horizontal waveforms, but some of them that you might be used to use vert vertical waveforms. So now we have vertical waveforms in the middle here, and it gives us a bigger view of our library down here. So horizontal waveforms, vertical waveforms, horizontal waveforms, vertical waveforms. With horizontal waveforms, we could even change the position. So right now they're at the bottom, maybe a little confusing to look at, but if we go over here, we're in the middle. That looks pretty good, a lot to see, or we could bring it up top, whichever is easier for you. I recommend leaving them at horizontal and at the bottom and bringing back our jog wheels to jog wheels. Next, you may not be aware, but this is gonna be in our cue points. With our cue points over here, when you press one, it's gonna assign you a random color and a time, but you could actually change the colors. So there we go, we got a blue one, green one. So I always mark the start and end cue points from when I'm gonna mix in and mix out. So I could go, mix in is gonna be in green, mix, mix out, is going to be in red. So anytime I load up any song that I've marked my cue points for, I know where I'm going to start the mix and where I'm going to end the mix. You can take it a step further by coming up with a color for drops and stuff like that. But you could change these colored cue points and the coolest thing ever, they will show up on the RGB pads of your controller if you have a controller that supports this feature. Next is going to be over here in our mixer section. We have our EQs, lows, mids, and highs. With this drop down menu, we could change it to Neuromix. Now we got drums, bass, and vocals. So you could use Neuromix that way, which is really cool. Another thing is, I know I showed you guys the cue points over here, but you could also open up a whole cue point section over here with this expansion. And then down here, we have our cue points that we set, same thing as up here. But a hidden feature is if we press this drop down menu, we could get to skip. So skip appears. I was, if you're looking for skip and you do this drop down menu, it has all the other features, but no skip. The only way to find skip is in this feature over here with the, with this toolbar selected. Now we could go down to skip 
and then skip allows us to choose how many beats we want to skip back. So let's say we want to start a mix or start mixing a track in 16 beats from where it starts. So now it's at 16 beats. Now we're going to press skip and we're exactly 16 beats into the track. So when you're marking your cue points, organizing your tracks, it's great to know how many beats you're gonna be in so you could do perfectly timed mixes. So now we have the we have 16 beats and we can mark in our cue point like I just showed you, 16 beats. So that works really good. The other way to do it would be actually counting these yellow lines and it's annoying and it would take a while to do, especially when you're DJing live. So I love having that skip feature. It's just hard to find because it it would make sense for it to be up here with everything else that is similar, but you have to go down here to this drop down menu and press skip, it's right after slice. Also this middle one, you could access your loops, your save loops, your manual loops, and your auto loops. So that is gonna be the middle drop down menu there, another way to control your loops. Another feature that I like is in Neuromix, when we go to our effects, so let's open our effects here, or you could do the effects down here. When we choose an effect, we have echo. You could go down here. Now this is gonna assign the echo to the whole deck, but you could assign the echo to vocals only. So now you see the microphone's on, so this is gonna be vocals only are gonna be echoed. So the words are going to echo, but the beat, the drum, and everything else is not going to echo. So when you think about setting your effects, go down here, and if you want to choose a Neuromix stem, then you can do that. The next thing is going to be up here in video mode. We're going to press the top right, go into video mode, open it up. Now the cool thing is we could do our, we could move our crossfader like this if we press the drop down menu here. So it's not on the crossfader, that's for the crossfader effects. But if we press the transitions for our video mode, you see how it's doing the push transition. I could switch it to blend transition, or I could press this drop down menu down here. Now we could split the audio and video. So up here, you could transition the video, and then down here, you have a regular audio crossfader just like you would if you were in two-deck mode or another mode moving the crossfader, which is really cool. And there's a lot more awesome features in video mode, so if you wanna learn more about video mode for this amazing app for the Mac, check out this video over here. Thank you.